This is going to be a quick video on AGE, um, Advanced Glycation End Products. You ever heard of that? Some of you have. Uh, we've got a very sharp group of, uh, of viewers. Now, <clears throat> uh, glycation end products have, uh, they're very important. Uh, if you look at uh, the, um, the kidney disease associated with uh, diabetes, and that's the vast majority of kidney disease, um, we see kidney disease on a primary care basis or prevention basis, and we assume that it's coming from diabetes until we prove otherwise. That's how important diabetes is to, uh, to kidney disease. Um, so why is there not a lot more information out there about that? Well, there's a, there's a fellow named Lee Hull <clears throat> who's putting out a lot of information in this area. Pardon the, uh, uh, the imagery here. I'm, um, I just, we, we were on vacation in, uh, at Kiowa Island near Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, Hurricane Florence is coming through, so we got uh, evacuated. We're in beautiful, sunny uh, Savannah right now, and the weather's gorgeous, Savannah, Georgia. So, <clears throat> but there were a few things that came out that I wanted to make, uh, make available to folks. Now, Lee Hall, uh, let me go into a little bit more information on that, but first, a brief introduction of me. Uh, my name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R. -E started off as an ER doc in uh, the Panhandle of Florida over 30 years ago. Um, working in the ER, you get very focused on uh, prevention because most things that people bring into the emergency department are things that, uh, death, disease, and disability that should never have happened, or at least happened decades later than it does. So uh, I found a good place at Hopkins to get training in prevention went there, loved it, um, and have spent my career working with, mostly with primary care docs, large groups, as many as 800 and more, uh, helping them focus on prevention for their patients. So, <clears throat> back to Lee Hall. Who is Lee Hall? Uh, he is a kidney patient. Uh, and again, I know I'm going to get a lot of, of complaints about this, but it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> Lee Hull is a kidney patient. He's writing a disease called Stopping, I mean, he's writing a book called Stopping Kidney Disease. Um, it's a, it's not, it hasn't been published yet. I showed it here a couple of times. All you have to do is uh, write him or email him, and I'll, I'll put a link under the video. Um, and he will send you copies of his book pre-publication for free, uh, chapter by chapter. And uh, I've read through a few chapters. Uh, so far, it's a pretty good book and a really good focus, excuse me, on prevention. Um, this one, he's talking about AGE, and he's, he's got a huge, comprehensive, encyclopedic list of the um, advanced glycation end products that you have in your diet. Now... <clears throat> He, uh, that's the good part. Uh, there's, the, what's the bad part? There's always something, isn't there? Well, the bad part is he doesn't mention uh, what appears so far to be the major source of glycation end products in the human body, and that is hyperglycemia. Um, <sighs> Yes, it's important in terms of the diet. Well, we don't know that. We really don't know whether it's important at all in terms of advanced glycation end products in the diet. We know that well over 90% of AGE in the diet is, um, is metabolized by the stomach acids, the, the intestines, etc. Um, while I'm mentioning food uh, sources of AGE, I can't help but... Um, make the point that um, if there is any import, uh, importance to food-related uh, ingestion of AGE, it does make, again, the point of plant-based. Um, most of these come from uh, seared meats, basically, uh, seared protein. You don't get it so much from, uh, from plant products. And you clearly don't get it from uh, un much from uncooked products. Um, 
Now, um, let's get to, again, maybe more important sources, though, than diet. There is one type of ingestion of AGE which is critical. Uh, it bypasses the, the stomach acids and the GI tract and goes straight into uh, the lungs. It's cigarette smoke or other type of smoking. Um, AGE, uh, well, actually, I, I forgot to, to describe what they are. And again, I'm in a hotel room somewhere without printers. I, I can't show you. I would print out a good image and show you. Uh, advanced glycation products are products where a glucose molecule, sometimes fructose or another sugar, has bound covalently to a protein, usually a protein or fat. So these things are damaging. They do get into the uh, glomerulus, the filter of the kidney, and actually prior to the filter of the kidney. and, and again, cause uh, kidney damage. So, <clears throat> again, back to the point about uh, missing the major source, um, I'd be surprised if any of the viewers of my channel have not heard of hemoglobin A1C. Hemoglobin A1C, that's the, you know, the, the monthly way of looking at uh, long-term glucose control in your blood. What do you think he, uh, hemoglobin A1C is? Hemoglobin is the protein that holds the heme molecule, which holds, in turn, iron. Um, hemoglobin A1C is glycated hemoglobin. It's the glucose in your blood which is bound covalently to that hemoglobin. So again, that, uh, that can cause kidney damage. It isn't so much that hemoglobin A1C is... Uh, the major cause of kidney damage. Don't don't misinterpret that way. There are tons and tons of glycation in products. Hemoglobin A1C just happens to be one of them that we know of that we're able to look at, and it's got a predictable um, uh, degrade rate, uh, downgrade rate as the um, red blood cells are uh, replaced in the blood. So if we if we know how much is um, being downgraded each week, each month, which we do with red cells and hemoglobin, then we can measure what's been going on in terms of uh, input. That's how hemoglobin A1C works. Now, pardon me for going down that digression, but again, <clears throat> it goes back to the critical point about AGE. So I'm not too worried at this point about um, grilled products. Uh, you might be. Um, I think we've got bigger fish to fry. Uh, pardon the pun. Thanks for your attention.